welcome back to Pro Shop and today in this video the HR is finally heading off to paint. This has been a long time coming as we've had a few changes along the way and it's taken a while for everything to be finished but now that it's all done we can send it to the paint shop. Almost every part that went into this build has been pre-fitted to the car. All the welding, all the fab work is complete so now it's time to pull it all apart, strip it down to a shell and let the body work begin. Now I always like to build the car to an almost turnkey situation with all the wiring laid out, holes drilled and as much as possible mounted. That way after paint it can be back for final assembly and there will be no more drilling, welding or screwing to be done and the car can easily go back together. During the building process of the car, I like to keep the boxes that the parts come in. That way on strip down, I can pack them away so as not to get damaged. Firstly, I have to finish all the little details that needed to be done but couldn't while the car was together. Things such as clearancing the exhaust and the headers where they were just a little too close to the body. And then I have to make removable cover panels for under the tray so it, the inside can be sealed and painted.
Some holes had to be drilled for all the lines and wiring that I couldn't get to when the motor and gearbox were in, and a few brackets still needed to be welded. Next, I have to build a frame for the car to sit on while it's getting the bodywork done. The frame has to mount on the car's natural pickup points, meaning I don't want the frame to hold the car in the centre and potentially flex and change the gaps on the car. Instead, by building a frame where the front cross member bolts to and where the rear shock and forelock mounts, it mimics the standard pickup points for when the car is sitting on its wheels. That way, all the gaps should still be the same for when the car goes back together. To begin, I want to position the car at the height that is comfortable for the bodywork to be done. I then made mounts to pick up the rear shock mounts and built a frame to pick up the lower fall link mount. I wanted to use this frame again on the next build. So I made the width and length adjustable by using the next size up tube to slide over it and lock it in place with a bolt. The front I made tubes that bolted in place where the cross member usually sat and then built a frame off that. Once it was all welded, I then made some plates for the casters to be bolted to. With the car now off the hoist and sitting in position, I could refit all the panels and start the final gapping process. Now that the parts are packed away, the car is sitting right and the panels are gapped, the last thing to do is to vacuum all the dust and metal swarf out of the car before the tow truck to arrives to take it away. While the paintwork is getting done, the motor will be sent out for a freshen up with a new set of heads and bigger cam going in. Other parts like the diff and front cross member will be stripped down and either painted or powder coated, that way when the body is finished, it can all come back together for the fun part. The final assembly. If you're new to the channel, check out the full build playlist at the end of this video. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your mates. If you want to know when the next video comes out, hit the notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching.